Hi guys, so it's Shandi. I wanted to share with you another pocket letter um, that I finished. And I also wanted to share with you what I am storing the pocket letters that I'm working on in. Uh, this is a tray that I picked up from Target for, it's a letter tray, for I think it was $3.49, if I'm not mistaken, um, at Target. So it was really inexpensive and it's fits, it holds your um, baseball card sleeves. So I can just, you know, when I'm while I'm working on it, I can store it in here. When I'm done, you know, of course it'll go out. But I thought this was perfect to hold all of the pocket letters that I'm working on. So I wanted to share that with you. And they have different colors. I just chose a simple craft one. Um, and yeah, so I wanted to share that with you. And then also... I wanted to share a die with you that I've had for a while um, that I just used. These pockets, well, this first of all, this is a Brenda Walton die, and it's called um, Inserts and Envelopes Mini Correspondence. So here is what they look like. And I purchased this from Hobby Lobby last year. And I used a coupon. It was like the original die in Hobby Lobby is like $41. But the coupon brought it down to $25 and change before taxes. So um, that wasn't bad because I was going to get it on Amazon. But it was actually cheaper for me to get it in the store. And this is what the pockets look like. You get three different pocket styles as well as three different inserts. Which I think are great. And they are super cute to fit and tuck into pocket letters. So here's one style. And they're small. Um, they're not big at all. This one is two inches by almost three and a half the pocket. And then there's a little ticketed insert to go inside. You're just talking, like I said, it's three different ones that so you can choose. Um, whatever one you want to go inside. There's another one with a different insert, a scalloped insert. It's a little pocket and all the pockets are about the same in width. And then here's a regular card. And then I'll show you the last pocket on my actual pocket letter. So I just wanted to quickly share that with you for those of you that have this die or that have been eyeing it but didn't see a reason to get it. Um, I think it is worth it. Okay. So now on to the pocket letter. <clears throat> uh, for this one, I did a Alice in Wonderland type theme. Um, I really wanted to do the rabbit. I found the quote first. So I chose the rabbit to go with the quote. And the quote is, it's never too late to be what you might have been by George Eliot. So I knew the rabbit's always saying, you're late, you're late, you're late. So I thought the quote fit the rabbit. Um, so basically I got this image off of Google. Um, of course, it's not my image. It's from the movie. So I have no rights to this image whatsoever. And... For the dies that I used for this, I used the Tim Holtz Tea Time die, where you get the two different teacups, and you also get these little um, tea tags. I don't have these glued in there, they just tucked in there. I also used the Heidi Swap Lovely die. I used the EK Success Punch down here, and this is from a Ellen Hall die. Um, this, I'm sorry, my phone is going off like crazy. Um, this is from an Ellen Hull die. It's a 3D, um, what is that? It's a 3D baby bottle, like the food jar, a 3D food, baby food jar. That's where the spoon came from. It was actually on another project and I just took it off and put it on here. This bow is a My Creative Time bow. I embossed the spoon. 
And this paper is the Tea Time paper. I think it's called Tea Time by Craft Smith. And then I got this little mouse from the Sell Online store, as well as these donuts and this plate. And then for this um, teapot, it is a <clears throat> die by, sorry for that glare, the paper sweeties. That's the teapot. This is the matching stamp set that goes with it. So I use that. And for the steam that's coming out of the teapot, I also used this die and stamp set from the paper sweeties. There's the steam. There's the matching die set. And that's their website. For those of you who may be interested in those, hopefully that is uh, not focusing. There we go. Okay, so I use that. And that is for the steam. Then I just have some seam binding in this pink and this um, vintage photo over here. So I really loved how this turned out. And this is all, um, I moved the rabbit. This is all very dimensional, as you can see. And a lot of people ask me how I ship these. I ship these flat and they are wrapped. And then the back, I have some goodies. This is a jaded blossom dye, this little mushroom. I put the first one together in the back. I just have the pieces. Thought it was super cute. I have some clouds and some little stickers in here. And then I did some um, punching in, in like two of the pockets. I think I punched. And then this one has some bling. This pocket here has some tags, some glitter, this foiled... Um, Heart that I cut out of a die I have from Impression Obsession. In the back is a puzzle. And then over here I have, I had this for another project and it's been sitting on my desk for months. Um, I never did the project that I was going to do with it so I decided to cut it up. It went with this and put it in the back. And in between this one is where the letter is. And then here is where I use that other pocket from that die. This is an envelope. And I just have some washi and ribbon on the, one of the cards tucked inside. And then for the border, I used um, this doohickey die from the doohickey volume 2. This one here that goes to the apron. So that is what I use for that. And that is it. So I really like how this one turned out. It was super fun. Um, I really like doing the 3D pocket letters. They are a little time consuming, um, especially with my time being as limited as it is. But they are a lot of fun once they are completed. And then for this, I have my little tag here. I also have for a little charm. It's a little Alice in Adventure in Wonderland book charm. I thought that was cute to add to the side. So that's my little charm. So I hope the person that gets this likes this. I really had a lot of fun um, creating this. And you guys stay tuned for the next one. Alright guys, bye.